What we have here is a, a 20 pound demolition hammer. Again, we're watching level and holding back on the pin so that the weight of the hammer and the drive of the pin does not force it on the concrete. What's going to happen here is that we're going to be creating a crisscross of these pins and the pier cannot shove down or pick up because it would have to change the angle of the pins as it did that, which it can't do either within the pier or along the uh, length of the soil that it's uh, driven into. And the whole concept is that rather than driving a pin until it hits something and stops, like most piles, what we've done is used a very rigid A shape so these pins are short enough that they won't actually bend. They'll stay stiff and locked within the pier and they bear on the soil below. So they can't bend outward and that soil works just like any normal footing where you're bearing under the base of the pin sitting in the bases of these holes. Now if for some reason we realize that we just put this pier in the wrong place um, this whole thing can be removed and set in a different spot. These pins actually can be plucked right out by getting a monkey wrench on them. You get them to spin, okay, and then they can be corkscrewed up out of the pier and the whole pin can be plucked away and the pier can be removed.